values. Pastor Mike Scruggs admits he's not your traditional pulpit preacher. We try to uh, make it relevant, uh, make it you know straightforward. We don't try to you know sugarcoat anything. His sermon series might raise a few eyebrows, but on this night it drew a packed house at the Light of the Word Ministries on Coleraine Avenue. We talked about sex, we talked about drugs, we talked about faith, uh, we talked about, you know, uh, relationships, everything that, you know, that people are dealing with on a day-to-day -day basis. This series is called The Battle of the Sexes with some rather interesting visual props. With our bed, you know, on one side of the bed you're dealing with, um, you know, what men are desiring, what men want. So you have your stripper pole, um, you have your video games, your, your sports. On the women's side is, you know, obviously the bed is orderly, everything's neat, everything's in its place. It's all about love, it's all about, you know, um, teddy bears and candy and rose petals and being wined and dined and being cherished. Don't spend your whole life wanting to be married. He says his church brings in speakers and focuses on real situations and brings godly solutions. He says it's more than provocative sermon titles. We push the envelope, that's true. I definitely want people to not take things out of context, you know, because we, I think people in general have a tendency to just take one piece and say, okay, well, um, he's going to hell and he's, you know, he's wrong. We want to talk about it. We just don't want him to guess at it or, you know, assume certain things and, you know, it might be wrong, it might be right. We want to literally take it, you know, take it straight forward and talk about it. Hey, what up, man? It's your boy, O to the D, a.k.a. Knowledge, General of the Jews. On this edition of D-Talk, <clears throat> I'm going to talk about the stripper pole and the bed with the wine and all of that stuff that is right there at a church. And this preacher has it. Well, you saw the footage, man. Hit my anthem. I'm a Jew, he a Jew, she a Jew, we some Jews, wouldn't you like to be a Jew too? Only if you're in the bloodline. Alright. Now let me get this right. You saw the footage. He's preaching in front of a stripper pole in the bed, talking about sex. And what, what baffles me is there's no group of Christians that's against this, like, they're with it or something. They're not against it. You know, you're not saying that for this man to be bringing all this evil and sexual intent into the church house. And you're allowing it. And we're supposed to think that this is a place of holiness. How is it a place of holiness when you're allowing the stripper poles to be inside your church room, you know? I don't feel like this story didn't even get no kind of publicity or nothing. Nobody cared. You got all these Christians out here, and they all just look the other way to it like it doesn't matter. Because in actuality, people are feeding that lust that they got inside of them that they're not doing nothing with. You know, they can't break away from that. And that that's why they would love their church if you was into that. So, with that being said, you saw what I saw. We both saw the same thing. Uh, this is going to be a short one. I just want to say to everybody out there that are Christians and got groups of Christians with them, protest about this, say something about this, stand up for my father, because I know you're not. I'll do it for you. But check it out. This is real life in Ohio. Detail gap. <laughs> Crazy crew entertainment, man. Crew of die videos, and ain't nothing after that. You dig, you beezies.